Right, let's have a let's have a look at the 2019 area area and volume question um, on the junior cert paper. The first part, part A says, work out the circumference of a circle with the diameter of eight centimetres. OK, thankfully, your log tables is very kind to us. It also has area and volume in it. So on, on one of the very first pages is your area. And then if you scroll on two pages, there's your volume. OK, so make sure you know what formulas are in here. The square and the rectangle aren't because they expect you to know them, but the circle is. So over here on the right, you can see that they're calling the length L or the circumference L, okay? So L is the circumference of the circle or the, the length of the outside of the circle. So the formula for circumference is two pi r. Okay, so L, let me just sharpen him up a small bit. Okay, he looks okay now. L is equal to two pi r. Okay, if my diameter is eight, okay? And again, I'll just draw a circle out here so you can see, if you can imagine that's a circle, that's your diameter. It's the chord and a chord is a line that goes through the very center of that circle, okay? So from this edge to this edge is what we call the diameter. And it's what's called the longest chord of a circle or it's the longest line through a circle. And the diameter can be anywhere from any of the edges to the other edge right through that center point, okay? The radius then on the other hand is from the center out to the edge. So that's the radius. So the radius is half the diameter, okay? So if we get a question where they tell us the diameter is four, or sorry, eight, then we know that the radius is four, okay? So my circumference is two pi by four. And if you put that into your calculator, it will default to eight pi, which is perfectly okay. It's just another way of writing a number and in many times uh, exam questions asks for your answer in terms of pi. So that would be correct. But in this one, it wants a correct to one decimal place. So they want us to convert that to a decimal. So hit the STD button on your calculator and round it to one decimal place is 25.1. I'm coming up here for units. It's very important that you put in the units. So 25.1 centimeters. Okay, part B then, the rubber track for a toy digger goes around four circular wheels of diameter eight as shown. Calculate the length of the rubber track that goes around the four wheels. Okay, now very easy in this one to take your 25.1 and multiply it by four for the four circular wheels. But what you've worked out is that the length of that circle there is 25.1 and this one, and of course this one and this one, because they're all the same size, okay? So you would get 100.5 or thereabouts if you multiplied um, that by four, right? But if you look at the, the, the rubber track that goes around a toy digger or even a real digger with the, with the metal teeth, you can see it just goes around the edges. So it doesn't go around each of the individual circles or one by one, okay? So how do you work it out? Well. To me, the easiest way of doing it is to break it. Okay, into a rectangle. Can you see what I'm doing here in the center? Okay. Okay, let me just then try and rub out the piece in the middle. Okay, so nice bright color. So if I get the the um, length from here to here, what is it? Okay, because isn't that and this one two of the pieces of our rubber track. And then of course we've half a circle here and we've another half circle here. So in essence, our, um, we have one of them half circle and a half circle and up here and up here. So I need to figure out the length of all these pieces and then add them together. Well, the two half circles on the edge gives me one full circle. 
and you have already worked out the circumference or the length of that. So I know he is 25.1. Okay, so then the length of this straight piece. Okay, well, let's have a look at him. Well, he's a diameter, so he's eight. He's a diameter, so he's eight. He's half a diameter or radius, he's four. He's half a diameter or radius, he's four. So eight and eight is 16 and eight is 24. And of course the bottom one is also 24 because that's rectangular shape. Okay, so I have two half circles added together to give me 25, a 24 and a 24. Okay, so on my calculator, 8 pi plus 24 plus 24 equals, just get that exact, 73.13 or 73.1 centimeters. Okay, so that's how you get the length of a track. So like I said, quite confusing the first time you see it, but from now on in, you now know what type of a question um, tends to come up, which is that shape. So when you're getting a um, perimeter um, or, or circumference, perimeter, I would always say walk the walk. So pick a corner and just walk around and go, what lens do you walk around to get right back to there? Because if you adopt that model of, of looking at perimeter, it doesn't matter what shape they give you. You will just take each of the individual pieces, add them together until you get right back to where you were. Okay, now part C. Every time the wheel turns fully, the digger travels a distance equal to one wheel's circumference. Every time the wheels turn fully, the digger travels a distance equal to one wheel's circumference. Okay, so what does that mean? And again, strange the first time you, you, you read it, but if you think about a wheel, and you think about a starting node on it, okay? And I've literally just put a random point on that circle. And if we roll that circle or that ball um, left, okay, how far will it roll before that blue dot ends up up the top again? Okay, so, you know, now we're not going to get the same shape circle, but I will try. So do you see it keeps rolling along? It keeps rolling along all the way until at some point, the blue dot ends up up the top again. So maybe here the blue dot was here, maybe here the blue dot had got to this one. So can you picture that blue dot moving around those wheels all the time? So as we push this or roll this this direction, that blue dot, this blue dot moves around, moves around some more and eventually gets back up to the top. So what this question is telling you, and this is the case for every single wheel, when you turn a wheel, the length that that will travel between getting back to where it was is the length of a circumference. Okay. And what I would say to you, um, the easiest way to see it, if you can't visualize it, is to get um, the inside of a toilet roll holder, which is a cylinder, okay? Um, cut it up. So cut it down the long length, okay? And you'll see that when you open out that cylinder, it opens out into a rectangle, okay? And the length of the top of that toilet roll holder is actually the circumference of your circle, okay? And, and that might help you then visualize that if we turn something the full way around, which is the same as going from here to here, if you see it on your toilet roll, it will be the length of the circumference, okay? And then once you can visualize that, um, these questions get it a tad easier. So any circle at all, 
once it turns fully, it will travel um, a distance equal to one wheel circumference. Work out how many times each wheel will turn fully when the digger travels a distance equal to the rubber track. Okay, well, the rubber track is 73.1 centimeters. And each turn of, of a wheel will travel 25.1 centimeters. So therefore, if I divide one by the other, I will figure out how many times does that wheel turn and I'm getting 2.91 turns. Okay, work out how many times each wheel will turn fully when the digger travels a distance equal to the length of its rubber track. Now, why does it have that word fully turned? Well, your answer then has to be two turns, okay? Because the, the wheel didn't quite get to complete the third turn, so it has two full turns.